Hello guys, welcome to the car. Now we're not a, we're not in our usual setup here. That today is not a gaming video. In fact, today I got something else for us to do. I uh, over the Black Friday weekend, I bought myself a dash cam, Van True, and with it, of course, an SD card. Now I want to install this on my uh, my charger here. So there you go. Want to install it right up here. And then, of course, it plugs in down here in the uh, cigarette lighter. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so yeah, let me start getting things unboxed. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys again in just a second on how I'm going to run the cable, what my plan is. Cool. So inside the box here... Uh, I've already opened it once. It comes with some stickers saying that you're protected. Uh, we're not putting that on my car. Not putting no damn stickers on my car. Uh, it comes with a quick start guide. Who needs that? Uh, it comes with a user manual. Might save this. Not 100% sure yet. And then the thing that we actually want, the camera. So it comes with a camera and also once we dig in here a little bit more, a lot, of, a lot of layers to this, we have the mount and the charger. Now there's actually two chargers for this, one that uses a USB, and I assume that's like if I want to take it off of the window for some reason, take it inside, I don't know. Uh, maybe I have some sort of USB hub I have hooked up where I could use this instead. Probably not going to use this don't know yet maybe in the future so we'll toss that aside this on the other hand is how we're gonna power it uh, so we got a nice long cable here we're gonna be running and the plan is to run this cable from the cigarette lighter way back here down along the creases of the car down under the bottom here up the side here following the creases across and across the window. How's it gonna turn out? I'm not 100% sure. I think this cord is long enough though. I mean, this is quite a bit of cable. So, uh, I'm not sure which I should do first. We'll probably end up mounting the camera first or figuring out where exactly we want that to be so we know exactly where this cable is gonna end. Or even we could just mount the cable right away. Uh, whoa. So yeah, we're gonna just start mounting cable first, and uh, yeah, no, I will. My plan to mount it, double-sided tape. Don't judge me. I don't really have any better thing, and I don't feel like taking apart anything to run it under any plastic or anything like that. I'm just gonna cut it real thin tape along the wire and hopefully it doesn't look too bad so let's give this a shot well news flash that didn't stick to it at all I don't know if it's just because it's a little old <clears throat> Or maybe it's because I'm just using regular old uh, double-sided mounting tape. I mean, it normally feels pretty sticky, so I'm kind of surprised about that. Maybe it's because of how small the piece is, but I kind of don't have a choice with that, to be honest with you. Well guys, that's a new strap. We're just gonna get it stuck on stuff because the double-sided tape ain't working too well. So we're just gonna run it and kind of just, uh, just shove it in there like that. Well, that's gonna I need to 
figure something out for the top here, though. Oh, I got it unstuck. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, see, we got more than enough cable. I could probably put the dash cam on the other side of the car and it'll still work. And see, here's where the difficult part comes in. Because I don't want it running through the middle of the window. And I don't want it hanging down because that looks like shit. I want it to look as good as possible with the little skills and knowledge that I have. Closer to it here. Make it a little easier to work on. Cool. I wonder if the double sided tape will work on the window. I know, there's probably some of you right there screaming at me stop using double sided tape. Whatever. No, no, I'll give it a try and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, guys, so. The double-sided tape ain't gonna really work too well. So we're just going straight for trying to tuck it in to the various parts of the car. And of course, some of it's real easy. Just stick it in with your fingers. But not everything in life's gonna be that easy. So up near the middle of the headliner of my car, I'm not sure how it's held on. Like I said, I'm working with minimal knowledge and minimal skill. Now we're not even at mediocre quality yet. I know I normally promise a mediocre quality, but I don't know, maybe this is mediocre, I don't know. I know it's not good though. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're just trying to tuck it in. I'm not sure how exactly up here in the center the headliner's held on. I don't feel like looking it up either. So I'm just kind of doing my best. Kind of just pry it and oh, there we go. Just kind of force it in there, the cable. There we go, best we can. And hey, that doesn't actually look too bad, guys. I'll uh, give you a close-up of it at the end. Not right now, because I'm still struggling to, you know, put it in, but... Once I'm done struggling to get it put in, then I'll show you. Yeah, I thought I had it good in the... But grr, we pulled it back a little bit farther. I'm just going to stick it in here too. Once again, I don't want to take any of this stuff off because I'm lazy. So we're just going to do the best we can to just force the cable in there. It's actually going pretty easy. I'm gonna need to clean my window again, but a lot of fingerprints on it. There we go. And how far down can we go with this? Man, I'm not gonna lie. It actually doesn't feel too bad. Ugh, if I actually take any of this out ever then um, to do other stuff, then I'll probably clean it all up then. But as of right now, I mean, this is actually running a lot better than I expected it to. <laughs> there we go. Now we could probably just run this through here even. That's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm curious to see how the door is going to close after this, but hopefully it'll be good. So, note to you guys, if you ever want to do this yourself, start up at the webcam, not down at the plug. 
I don't know why I thought starting at the plug would be a good idea, but that's where I started, and now I'm regretting it. So let's jump back under here. And we're just going to kind of feed the cable under here. Pull it tight, get it there. And then of course the last spot is right there. Man, no double-sided tape needed. Just a little bit of pushing and prodding and forcing it in. But hey, it you can't really tell it's even in there from your angle, can you? And I'm cool with that. And of course I can see the place where the cables come out, but that's probably also because I did the work or the lack of work so it's real easy for me to notice now we got a little extra here so I don't know maybe we'll just coil it up a little bit around the plug just like that and it's plugged in We'll jump back over to the phone camera so I can actually show you what's going on. Okay, so here in the car, the dash cam's up here. Now we've got the cable running from the dash cam up to the header where I've kind of just forced it in. Best I could, no problem. Go over here. Uh, there's a little bit that sticks out right here up in the corner, but you can barely tell. It's dark, goes all the way down the side. Ooh sticking out a little bit there I couldn't see that from my angle from the camera angle you can though and it goes all the way down to the corner where you can see it kind of just bulges out again goes into here and then it runs all the way down to here where it actually goes straight under the dash all the way over to here where it then comes around I just hooked it on here and coiled the extra around the plug so I mean easy enough I guess now we just gotta figure out how to use this thing that'll be fun okay so we're back in here you guys probably won't be able to see the uh, webcam too precisely but first things first I need to turn on the accessories and it says insert SD card that's what this is for we'll close that so we don't have to hear that Let's get the SD card out of here. Hopefully nothing too important that I'm cutting. See, that's why I brought the scissors. The, the uh, double-sided tape was just to see if you guys know what you're talking about. See if you could tell whether or not I'm serious. No, I'm just kidding. That, that was an honest-to-God idea I had. And... No, I'm glad I didn't use it. Because, frankly, that would have looked like shit. So... Of course, they always come with an adapter, these micro SD cards. So, to take the camera off, there's a little button on the front. Oh, or the whole thing just gonna pop off. Whatever, man. There we go. We'll just do that. Leave that hanging for now. Uh, my music started. Oh, so, we're gonna just got to put this back uh, I think it was probably right around there uh, unlock it again oh yeah look at that the windows all fogged up there now all right so I'm gonna have to clean that before I remount that and now I've disconnected the power from here oh man well we need to put in the SD card that's what that's what I'm doing I had to remember what I was doing for a second there so SD cards uh, this is how it's going to look. SD cards on the side here. Just turn that out of the way. And no, I didn't watch any tutorials on this or anything. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Let's see, this way? Nope. Goes this way. Maybe. Why is it going in like that? I missed the slot, that's why. Okay, SD card in. Perfect. Well, now I have to clean the window because now I need a hang it back up so I'm gonna go grab some cleaning I'll be right back listen to the beep while I'm gone
How was that beeping? All right, so I'm back. Got the Invisiglass or Invisible Glass. Fucking love this shit, man. This stuff's good. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna use it in enclosed space because that's what I do. Got my glass rag. Not the cleanest, but hey, can't expect me to clean everything. We're just gonna put some directly on the rag here. Everything goes in the passenger seat when I'm not using it. There we go. Let's just clean this off real quick, eh? We'll just clean the whole area. Oh, now it's gonna mark weird when I'm defrost. Oh well. I'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, so now that that's actually clean, hopefully we can get this to stick properly. So I can actually take the webcam off if I so desire. Or webcam, the dash cam. Let's put it right there and oh, twist it on. There you go, that seems to be on a lot better now. So let's plug this back in. And as soon as we clip it back on, we should be, oh, I think I put it too close. I put it a little too high. What do you expect from me, guys? I'll put it a little farther down. Actually, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just mount the whole thing together again. Uh, yeah, like right there. Now I can actually see the camera, so I kind of know a little bit more where I'm putting it. Oh, okay. Nope, come on. Lock. Thank you. Okay, so hey, there we go. It's in. SD card's in. This wire up here is going to be a pain in the ass, but I don't know. That seems like a little more effort than it's worth. Let's put the put the seat back where I want it. There. All right. We'll, we'll finish it off on the phone here. So, yeah, I use a 360 camera to record pretty much everything um, that isn't recorded on my phone or with the webcam and computer recording software OBS. I use a 360 camera for the rest of it. So, it's not the, like, hardcore best recording, but yeah, it's pretty cool, man. So, yeah, that's the dash cam. Uh, we got some videoception there. And if you guys like this video, by all means, drop a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, then um, the only way you can tell me that is by uh, liking it and, of course, subscribing. And then, of course, I'll check you out. I'll check out what, what else I could do in here. That's real easy because I'm lazy and, like I said, minimal knowledge, minimal skill. So if you guys want to see what adventure comes next, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.